Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today we're just going to do a quick uh, install of the Ryzen 5 1600 CPU. I'll show you how to put on the Wraith cooler. Just real quick, real simple, and I will follow it up. I, I meant, I've actually done a Ryzen build, so I'm going to do the uh, how to put on the CPU and the cooler, and then I'm going to follow it up with the motherboard that I used and then the complete install for everything else. So stay tuned for those and I hope you enjoy this one. Here we go. So I'm just going to quickly show you this. You got these brackets, all right? So you got one screw here and there's another one on this side. You just unscrew them from these two spots, okay? There's one there, one here. You take them off, set them aside, and then your bracket is going to go on there. Now, of course, before you do that, you want to put your CPU in. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so one of the things you want to notice, you're trying, you've got a little triangle here, all right? So be careful how you hold it, okay? Keep your fingers away from the gold contacts, all right? Hold it by the side is fine. You want to line up this gold triangle, all right? The one right there, well, with what's on your motherboard, which if you look on here, it can, it shows you. It's kind of hard to see, I know. I'll focus in on that just to show it to you a little bit more. Okay, so something to remember when you're going to put the CPU in is you've got a little tab here, so you want to push down and it just lifts up. It's quite a bit different than the Intel. So again, just take this, you're just going to carefully, be very careful, and you're just going to set it in. It should just go in place. Okay, so there you can tell. And then the only thing left to do is push this down, goes back underneath. That's all there is to installing your CPU. Now, the other thing I want to point out is this is a part of your back plate in the back. Now, if it happens to, there's a little bit of an adhesive that keeps this on your board. So, if, if you've taken it off before, it'll be loose. But right now, it's in there good. So, when you go to put your your cooler on, it'll fasten on, won't be a problem. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is orient it toward the CPU fan where it's going to plug in. So, I make it go in the right direction here. So in case you're looking for that and wonder where it's at, it's right here. So we're going to orient the thing so it just goes here. Just give me a second. I'm just going to put that in there. But more importantly, you have to orient it because it goes this way and it's narrower this way. Sorry about that. We're going to go back out here. Okay. You've got width-wise and then, sorry, width-wise and then length-wise. Okay, so this is obviously longer. So when you look at your board, you want it to go lengthwise and widthwise in the right direction. So if I put it here, careful not to touch anything. I just have to fit it down onto those holes. And then I'm going to carefully, I'm going to screw that all in and tighten it all down. Okay, so one thing to point out, just to make sure you guys don't have any issues, when you're, when you're putting these on, okay, they you set up just a little bit, so don't be afraid that when you put your screwdriver in, I'm just going to, if I get in your way here. You might have to just apply a little downward pressure on it to get it going in, okay? And it'll only turn so far and then it just, it'll stop. So that's how you know. And I certainly wouldn't over tighten. And just do the same thing, like in a diagonal pattern, okay? And so corner to corner. Okay, so what happened here is it came out because I didn't have it all the way down. So I'm going to loosen the screws. I'm going to, so that there's less tension so that you don't do anything to the motherboard. All right, so I'm just going to pause this while I do that. Okay, so I've gone in, I've tightened all the uh, four screws and now it's on there good and tight. You can actually lift the motherboard and you can see it a little bit kind of poking hole through here. It's not quite the same as the old uh, Intel ones you can just kind of see the tip of them in there but it's in there pretty snug no problems with that and of course the only thing left and again this is a little bit nicer than the intel stock coolers because now we just find your little um where your cpu is going to go on and you just put it on there okay so that's all there is to it now i'll have to see if maybe there's a way to tie this down a little bit just kind of ties it up probably just a little twist tie there just to Keep it out of the way, make it look better. But that's it. Our CPU's on, our cooler's on, 
Yeah, that's it. All right, everybody. Well, that was real quick, simple. If you have any questions, let me know. I actually did reapply a thermal paste. Uh, I put it in the video, but I just wanted to... I stuck my th thumb on it because it wasn't protected all that well, but I, I, my conscience got to me and I said I can't just leave it. So I did reapply it. I put it on basically exactly the same way that it was on there, which is a little tricky, but I did it. Um, you can apply it the same as you do any other CPU. So if you have any questions on that, you can go back to one of my previous videos and just see how to apply thermal paste. So, hope you liked it. If you like it, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Subscribe to see more of my videos. Stay tuned for the Rise and Build in the future. Thanks for watching.